This is complicated, isn't it? If you don't know the saying, you have no idea how to answer this question. Good afternoon from the far too sunny south coast of England. Today was the hottest day of the year. In fact, it was the hottest day since 2003. We here in England do not have air conditioning, so temperatures of 35 and over are very dangerous for us Brits. So I thought I'd share some helpful information and uh, some helpful tips that were given to us by our companies here in the UK. Please carry a bottle of water with you at all times. You can use it to beat yourself to death when the heat becomes too much. Anyway, today we are going back to KO University, this time answering the business department questions. So, let's jump right into it. Question number 33. A report from the Economic Policy Institute calls blank to the fact that America's corporate CEOs earn on blank 18.9 million in 2017. Okay. So, the way that I answered this question first is looking at the second gap. We have earned on blank 18.9 million a year, or in 2017. Uh, in my head, I immediately see on average, because the preposition on always goes before average. So I look in the answers, I see average, and I check the first word, attention, does that fit in? Yes. So the answer is number four. Next question, 34. The numbers blank not only the way companies are run, but also blank in the structure of the US economy. Okay, so this one doesn't have quite an easy sort of slot in word. So reflect works here the numbers reflect not only the way companies are run but also changes in the structure of the u.s economy that makes sense uh 35 the important issue that the epi report doesn't blank is whether it is a good idea to blank ceo compensations to conversation blank the casino that is the stock market god this is a um, this is complicated isn't it the epi Report doesn't bring up, makes sense, it means bring up as a phrasal verb means to mention, to talk about. It's, whether it's a good idea to tie CEO compensation to the casino that is the stock market. I have to go with number four because I think number two makes sense. Yeah, number two makes sense. No. So it's either two or four, and I think the one that makes the most sense is answer number four. Okay. Question number 36. In spite of anxiety, students were strongly positive about being pushed to express ideas. That is, the blank to speaking English was stronger than blank about its use. Okay, so looking at the answers, we have desire and ability which both don't go in present continuous which is speaking so that is demonstration and and the preposition two doesn't match with demonstration which means number four commitment to speaking english was stronger than reservations about its use makes perfect sense number four question number 37 what provoked speculation about her recent resignation was that it happened blank, surprising the nation. Okay, this one is really difficult because this is a um, British, I think it's a British saying, saying, it might be an American English saying as well. Uh, but if you don't know the saying, you have no idea how to answer this question. Uh, the saying is out of the blue. And what that means is it happens surprisingly. Nobody expected it. Uh, so, for example, I could say, Oh, t I got fired from my job today. It was completely out of the blue. You know, I didn't see it coming. I've been fired. Okay, so answer is number one. Question number 38. 
The new regulations were successful in protecting local industry and blank. They led to the creation of many new jobs. Uh, new regulations were successful in protecting local industry and just in case. No. On the contrary, no. What is in New regulations were successful in protecting local industry and so it's not in other words. And what's more? They led to the crew. Yeah. Okay. I think this is answer number three, but it's not worded properly. Uh, in proper English, we would say what's more, not what is more. Instead of saying, um, and what is more, this happened, you would say what's more. So it's it's like adding another point onto an existing point. So my answer is number three. Number 39, Conan Doyle wrote, If I blank less cautious, I blank more wise, but I was half crazy with fear that you should learn the truth. Now, I do not know anything about Arthur Conan Doyle, so I can't answer this off of prior knowledge. Um, so the second half of the sentence is talking in past tense. So it has to be past, the first half of the sentence also has to be past tense. So I assume the answer to that is one. Question number 40. To argue this point would blank us too far away, blank the purpose of the essay. Okay, without looking at the answers, I can tell that the second word will probably be from. So, looking at the answers, question, uh, answer number two, the second word is from. Check that, check the first word in the sentence. To argue this point would carry us too far away from the purpose of this essay. Perfect. Makes sense. Two. Forty-one. The research blank much blank. <laughs> the thoughtful and helpful comments of my colleagues at school. The research conducts much upon. No. The research gathers much in the thought. No. This research owes much to. Yeah. Yeah. The answer is question number three. It owes much to. Um, it means the research uh, is mostly made from. So this person has gone out, asked their colleagues all of their questions for their research paper, and this is what has formed their essay, their whatever they're writing. Okay. Number 42. So blank, a nation of immigrants, the US cannot produce the capable, well-educated, bilingual professionals it needs without serious investment in training. So... Okay, uh, having a quick look at the answers, I can tell it's number four. Um, while all of them kind of make sense in the context, uh, number four is the correct answer because it says despite being a nation of immigrants Which is a positive point, you know, just so despite being a nation of immigrants good the US cannot produce the capable Etc bad despite means you know, that there's a good thing, but there's also a bad thing Okay question number 43 Once you have a presentation topic in mind make an outline first do not Blank making slides. Okay, another saying, another expression. This one, think of it like a pool. Uh, you have a project. It is this vast pool, and you don't know if you can swim the whole length of this pool in one go. So, you need to practice, you need to plan, you need to know how you're going to go about this, instead of diving right into the pool and just swimming as fast as you can. So, answer is question, is it answer number three? Dive right in. Okay, that wraps up today's questions. So, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I will see you next week, same time. Bye. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.